What is up YouTube and welcome to this The Mandalorian Season 2 video. Now the first episode of this season was so very, very good and I have no idea what these bloggers and reviewers are watching as this is pure, distilled Star Wars, baby. Now there will be spoilers in this video so please be warned and if you enjoyed it please do consider subscribing with notifications on to never miss a video and also dropping a like down below it does help us out massively with visibility on this website. So throughout the episode we had massive hints that the mega chad himself Boba Fett had survived his trip to the Sarlacc pit as he fell in it in Return of the Jedi. Of course, throughout the history of Star Wars, Boba Fett has had a few different returns, and it seems like they're hinting at something at the very least. Of course, Timothy Oliphant's character Cobb Vanth, aka the Marshal, was wearing Boba Fett's legendary armor and revealed that he bought it off of a group of Jawas. Now, in the expanded universe, your boy Boba escaped, but his armor was actually stolen by Jawas, and then obviously, presumably sold to Cobb Vanth. Well, we even saw a shot of someone at the end of the episode who looks like Boba Fett. I say looks like as while all the evidence points towards Boba Fett, I want to point towards a different idea I had while watching Heavy Spoilers video on a similar topic. And do check out that video after this and tell him I said hi. So while the evidence does point towards Tamara Morrison playing Boba Fett, it's not confirmed, really. So that leaves room to play with a theory. So who could he be playing here? Well, I'm going to rule out nearly all of the clone troopers and really at least Jango Fett. I saw one website say it could be Jango Fett, but yeah, that's not going to happen because he got beheaded. But there's one clone trooper he could be, and that is... Rex. While Boba Fett is cool and all, this season has a young Force user and Ahsoka Tanu, and this will be the continuation of her story. Now, Rex, if you haven't seen the Clone Wars TV show, he fought in all of the major battles of the Clone Wars and was a major part of the show and is undeniably a fan favourite of the Star Wars fandom. Now, during the Siege of Mandalore and post Order 66, his chip in his head is removed by Ahsoka that allowed him to stop complying with Order 66 and actually helped her escape. And, well, that was during the finale of the Clone Wars series, and she escaped the fatal command of Darth Sidious. Now, after they both escaped, he actually went on to live with Commander Wolf and other clone troopers on the planet Celos. Now, this is where they met the rebels of Star Wars Rebels, including Ezra Bridger. Now, Rex later joined the rebels on many, many missions against the Empire and even joined the Rebel Alliance and was at the, the Battle of Endor, complete with Beard, which is one of the coolest retcons I've ever seen, with one of the people who was there at the battle actually was this guy and they fit that in pretty well i really like that however at the end of star wars rebels ezra bridger was transported to the unknown regions along with admiral thorn now ashoka tano set off to go and find ezra after this and the legendary jedi will finally make her live action debut in the mandalorian season 2 which is pretty much confirmed as of a post by Disney Plus that was swiftly deleted yesterday. So there is another idea that Rex is helping Ahsoka find Ezra Bridger. We know that Thrawn was a Chiss, and this race used young Force users to map the unknown regions and escape without crashing their ship. It's a theme that was sort of included in Rise of Skywalker, where they had to use that Sith Codex thing to reach the, the planet where Sidious was this whole time. Yeah, I'm not going to go into that, but there's a bit of a reach there in the comparison, <laughs> so I'm going to admit that before you comment that. Now, we know the child is stupidly powerful, and the remnants of the Empire are looking for the child as well, and they would no doubt want to use him to find Thrawn in these unknown regions and then go on to create the First Order, as we know that the villainous sequel to the Empire were born in the darkest depths of space. So we have two factions. 
The rebels wanting to use the child to map the unknown regions to find their friend, and the Empire remnant wanting to use the child to map the same space to rebuild their empire. This means Rex is there, or it, admittedly it could be Wolf based on the scars, but Rex I think is a bit more interesting, and from the trailer we saw Sasha Banks' character looking ominously at the child and his protector, and she is quite clearly going to be a character from Rebels or the Clone Wars, most likely Rebels there, probably Sabine Wren, I think personally, and maybe this could actually be the biggest misdirect but do I want this to happen? Well, no, not particularly. It would be a bigger letdown than Ray's parents' story in The Last Jedi. God, that movie was just absolute trash. And before you comment wrong and no, it's just a bit of a fun, a bit of fun to speculate on this. I've seen quite a people, quite a few people do actually say that this might not actually be Boba Fett. But yes, it all points towards Boba Fett. But I just wanted to present a different idea to you there. But if I was a betting man, I'd say that that is the greatest bounty hunter we've ever seen. So that's it for this video. Please drop a like down below. Please do subscribe with notifications on. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.